Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? I am Big Meats, and this is a Big Meats moment. Huh? Darlings, 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 I have come across something on Twitter, honey, that kind of got me a little bit that way. Now, though I respect this man to some degree, don't know him, but I respect him for his title. Um, Judge Joe Brown is on this kick, honey. He is trying to preserve masculinity, preserve the, the, the family unit and things of that nature, and that's wonderful. I agree with that that needs to, to have um, a fight or somebody to carry on that banner and things, you know. However, he is on this kit, child, to where he wants to sit down and get this rally going that he calls us the Skittles, okay? The Sk you know, the Rainbow Children, honey, uh, the Alphabet Children, okay? He said that Skittles... <laughs> that we are invoking this whole notion of heterophobia. <laughs> he believes that uh, straight people are not afraid of gay people. They just don't like what they do. But gay people are afraid of straight people because straight people persecute us. Okay? And then we want to be like them. Uh, darling, <laughs> that notion is the furthest thing from everybody's mind, honey. Gays, the Rainbow Children, the Alphabet City Children, honey, we have been dealing with and putting up with your kind of bullshit, this kind of violence and persecution and carrying on since the dawn of time. We have stood our ground. Honey, we have, we have made lots of advances and carrying on. The problem is, is that we're not afraid of you. No one has ever been afraid of game, of straight people. We just don't like what the fuck it is that you do to us. What the fuck it is you say that we can and cannot have. We do not like the fact that you say that we should not exist because you disagree with how and who we love. That's what this is. This has nothing to do with fear of anything or anybody. Just like homophobia. I don't believe that straight folks are scared of gay folks. You just want shit to sit down there and to be a certain way. Y'all want to deal with issues in black and white. And in black and white is cool. But everything is not a black and white thing, honey. There's gray areas and then there's areas of color that a lot of folks don't want to venture into. A lot of folks don't want to, to get off into understanding that the world is bigger than what it is. So a lot of it has to come from religion and carrying on because we have been taught Christianity teaches that Christianity, number one, is the only way, it's the right way. Y'all forget that there's a myriad of other areas and, and religions and ways to God that existed before Christianity even did. And yet, <coughs> you want to have the arrogance to believe that Christianity is the only way. And yet, all of this is, sub is, is subjective. It depends on the individual person and how they believe what they believe. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So why do we take this arrogant stance? I wonder. It's just that I have come to the notion that we have just become a people who just want to sit up there and just have shit to say. We've got to have shit to do because we busy bodies and just want to have drama going on. We want to sit down there and because my household is this way, you want everybody's household to mimic yours. When you go visit somebody, you want to make sure that they got the the plastic on the furniture like yours. You want to make sure that they know how to clean the carpet because you got white carpet. You know, that's boring. Okay, if God wanted all of us to be the same child, he would have made us all look one way, one this, one that, whatever. All of us would have been the same, but we're not. We are not. All of us think differently. We maneuver differently. We love differently. You know, and care at all. We, 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 build differently. Everything about our journeys are independently different. So, uh, Your Honor, come off that bullshit about this heterophobia, honey. You just want to sit down there and have something to say because you want to believe that straight folks or, or the uh, or traditional family living is under attack. Well, darling, let's look at that. Okay? It's under attack because y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Straight folks are the ones fucking up their own shit. Because here's something to consider. 
you say the family unit is under attack, but what are you saying about these children who are going out here? You got men following 34, 37 kids, honey, with 16 different women. You got women who want to sit down here. You got five kids, or you got 16 kids and 15 baby daddies. Huh? What is that doing to the family unit, to the family structure, to the family tree? What does that do? Okay, what does that do? We don't talk about that. But you want to sit down there and think that because gay folks are gay folks doing what they do, we have the right to marry. Trans children are looking for the right to to be inclusive and care. No, we got transgender, uh, the community on the rise. You keep wanting to put pedophiles in our shit. That ain't got nothing to do with us. In fact, that's a crime that we do not stand for. But y'all want to believe it's us. That ain't us. Okay. And yet you want to lump all of that together and sit up there and say that this is the detriment of the family when we're not looking at what, what the detriment of the family unit is. And I, for the first eight years of my life, my father was there. After that, honey, he decided to sit down there and fuck up. He decided that his life was a failure and whatever reasons or whatever. And he decided to be abusive. He decided. So when my mother said, I've had enough, you decided not to take care of your kids. You decided not to sit down there to make sure that the family unit was together. So why don't we look at those particular options versus saying that the Skittles children, the Alphabet children, the Rainbow children, instead of there being a, a, a dysfunction to the family, that we're responsible for the breakdown of the family, that because Malik Yoba is attracted to trans women, he's responsible for the breakup of the fucking family. Bullshit. Point blank, period, exclamation point. In the story, thank you, Fade the Plaque, Exit Stage Right. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's my commentary for right now, honey. Okay, this is the Big Meets Moment. Huh? Oh.